To Hong Kong now, where police have arrested 15 high-profile democracy campaigners in connection to the massive protests last year. The arrests include activists, lawmakers, and the owner of an anti-establishment newspaper. They're accused of either taking part in protests or publicizing them. Hong Kong was shaken by widespread street protests in 2019, which were sparked by a now-abandoned proposal to allow extraditions to the Chinese mainland. Well, for more, I'm joined now by Lo Kin He. He's the vice chair of the Democratic Party of Hong Kong. Thank you so much for being on our program. Now, the founder of your Thank party... You for the founder of your party, Martin Lee, was in fact among those who were arrested. And we understand he said he was proud to be arrested when he was released on bail. What do you think he meant by that? I think he meant by that um, he's a little bit guilty and, and uh, we... we we didn't really do enough for the younger generation because a lot of young people got arrested, got beaten up, uh, got harassed by the Hong Kong police and the Hong Kong government. And then uh, those older generations or uh, uh, prominent uh, political figures are, are, are not having a lot of uh, arrests or, or prosecution to them. So I think uh, he felt proud to be joined to, uh, he, he felt proud to be able to join uh, with the younger generations in this fight for democracy that he has been uh, struggling for 40 years. All right, so you say that these arrests actually targeted the veterans of Hong Kong's pro-democracy movement. Why do you think that they were taken into custody right now? Uh, I think it is a script and planned tactic for the Chinese Communist Party and the Hong Kong government uh, to clamp down Hong Kong democracy movement. Uh, those uh, veteran or senior uh, political figures are some, some I would say they're, they're the figures, they're the symbols of Hong Kong democracy movement. And arresting them, making such a noise, big noise uh, in, in arresting them, is to scare off the Hong Kong people and to deter the Hong Kong people uh, from joining the protest uh, again. So I think it is a, a, a scripted and planned tactics that is from Beijing to try to uh, get an even tighter grip into Hong Kong uh, freedom. Well, do you believe that these tactics will be successful? Do you think these arrests uh, will end up weakening the pro-democracy movement in Hong Kong? Uh, I think in contrary, uh, people uh, are, are, are very angry because of this. Because all these uh, veterans, they have been uh, doing a lot of good things in Hong Kong for so many years. And for example, Martin Lee, he is one of those who drafted basic law, and he has been defending the one country, two systems, uh, the, the freedom of Hong Kong uh, in for so many years. So when he's arrested, a lot of people feel shocked and very angry. And it is counterproductive to try to calm the society. So I think it is not useful for the government to, to do this, to, to try to uh, minimize the people who are going out to protest. It is in contrary. People are more angry and they will go out uh, right after the epidemic in Hong Kong is gone. All right. Lo Kin He, the vice chair of the Democratic Party of Hong Kong, thank you very much. Now let's get you a quick roundup of coronavirus developments around the world. The confirmed global death toll has now exceeded 150,000. That's according to the Johns Hopkins University in the United States. In Spain, the official death toll has now surpassed 20,000 people. On a more positive note, South Korea has reported only 18 new cases, its lowest daily jump in more than two months.